Hello. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and good day to all. My name is Haris Hakimi Ben Borhan. I am recording this video to present my final year project presentation. This is my title of my project. Ultra wide band time of arrival, time difference of arrival position estimation. My name is Haris Hakimi Ben Murhan, 51891, taking Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Electronic Engineering Computer. This project is supervised by Mr. Ng Liang Yu. This slide shows the outline of this project. There are introduction, ultra wideband, techniques used, the outcome and conclusion. Brief information about ultra wideband and its application that may be related to the position estimation will be shown after this slide. Ultra wideband is the contortionist of the wireless world. It is flexible enough to work in many different ways while maintaining its character. Its applications are for communications and sensors, radar, position location and tracking by using two techniques, which are geometric techniques and statistical techniques. UWB positioning can result in very high accuracy in positioning, even in the presence of the obstacles. But then again, it requires the installation of expensive UWB infrastructure which reduces the interest of technology for commercial applications. We all look for solutions that are cost-effective as much as, much as they are efficient. Application of position Estimation. Basically, position estimation is to save time. Such as in hospital, in hospital, we are using position estimation to track patients wherever they are. It also used to track criminals, providing emergency services such as 999 in Malaysia, military de military defense system, map making. Navigation, we use global positioning system, indoor positioning such as large buildings. For use in wide warehouse, they are using position estimation to track for place. This slide show, shows the UWB positioning system term typical architecture. This architecture are found in Nanjing Guozhou Wireless Company Limited. This architecture are widely used in chemical plant. UWB leverage time of flight which is a method for measuring distance between two radio trans receivers. By, the, by time of flight, for signal, time speed of flight. This table is to show the comparison between three band Technique use uh, time of arrival and time difference of arrival. Position estimation from the time of arrival, time difference of arrival, 
and angle of arrival measurements are commonly used techniques for position estimation. These approaches use the location parameter received from different sources and they are based on intersection of circles, hyperbolas, and lines, respectively, to the techniques. The location is determined using standard complex computation methods that are usually implemented in software and need relatively long execution time. Time of arrival is estimated by distance between transmitter and receiver. Transmitted at mobile station and received at multiple base station. Requirements for these techniques are position satellites and timestamps. Basically, this shows the distance between mobile station and base station equals to propagation time multiple the propagation velocity. Time difference of arrival use hyperbolic system. Its measurement defines a hyperbola passing through the target node with foci at the end of the reference nodes. At least three base stations are required to find mobile station from couple of TDOA. TDOA base position location system is dependent on time difference measurement. You can see here that it calls for highly accurate time synchronization and time tagging for snapshot. These are the summary of comparison between techniques that are frequently used for position location. But to, but to clarify again, I'm using TDOA and TOA techniques. Outcome that has been gathered for this project can be categorized into two. First is channel model generation and second one is simple correlation Base time of arrival estimation method. This is the output that I shown from MATLAB graphical user interface. The coding was inserted into the command window, and this is the output. Considering the maximum length of the channel and the maximum duration of each cluster, we generate the arrival time of each cluster using uniform random generator. In this step, phase rotation of each path is modeled in the channel model. This figure represents a sample continuous time channel model. The outputs of this statistical model are two vectors. As a result, we will have a continuous model for our indoor multipath wireless channel. In this simple correlation based TDOA, TOA estimation method, a simple realization is presented. Cross correlation between the transmitted signal and the received signal can be implemented by the XCore command in MATLAB. Here, we calculate the absolute value of the output, which is a complex number. The first arriving peak is estimated by comparing the absolute value of the cross correlated output with a certain threshold. In conclusion, this project is to research the best parameter in location finding and position estimation. Next is to build a real system of position location, receiver setup, synchronization and connection, as well as signal processing. That's all for my